problem is, the path comes that way. They're gonna look right up at me. Maybe not, I don't know. I got a pretty good backdrop here. And by the time they walk past me, I mean, it's gonna, it's some, just a small little area where I can shoot and I'm gonna be shooting. Hopefully, they come from down here. I can see them come through here and then I can get ready as they walk through there. And then when they get out there, But if they come from that way, down this trail right here, I'm not going to see them until they pop out right there. And they're going to look right up at me. And that's where I want to shoot them right there. But I'd have to wait until they walk all the way past and get right back in there. I know I didn't get him on film. I couldn't help it. The arrow didn't go in that far. He snapped it off right here and went down that way. But like I said earlier, there's this little hole, this little window right here. And I had my bow drawn back and my camera set up as if I was going to shoot a deer over there. And then I just pretended the deer came this way and I just bumped with my bow, just pushed this whole thing out of the way. That's why you saw it bump out of the way because I had to get my bow over there and I just pushed it out of the way with my bow. It's exactly what I did earlier today just because I was trying to, you know, simulate or figure out what I would do if that happened where I had to be drawn back. So, I don't know. Uh, he was standing that way, so I'm on the right side. He came this way, hit this tree here, snapped the arrow off and here it is. There is blood on it. That's a good sign. Thank God. Let's compare it with the length of the other arrows, see how far we got in them. I don't know how much it slid out. It looks like it made it, it made it in there quite a ways. There's blood all the way up there. So I'm not sure exactly how far in it went before it slid back out and then snapped off. We're not gonna go too far here and get carried away. Well, it's the next day and I came down here and I have good news and I have other good, more good news. Last night was 32 degrees. It was below freezing before 10 p.m. I woke up, it was 27 degrees. Came down here, headed in the direction that the deer went. Within 30 seconds, found him 70 yards away, laying there dead. Ended up being double lung. Unfortunately, I didn't get any footage this morning, but it didn't matter. It was just the deer laying there and got it back, skinned it, looked at it, and I could see that then the arrow was still in it. And it, I was afraid it was too high. I was afraid it was too forward. I, I was afraid it was in the shoulder. It didn't go deep enough. But last night I was looking at the arrow lengths, comparing it, seeing how much was broken off. I even compared it to a deer mount to get an idea and it looked like well if the arrow was that far and it broke off flush with his body it went all the way through and hit the other side but that kind of made me feel better but at the same time it hit so hard and so loud I thought it was just a shoulder hit it snapped it off with six inches hanging out of it and it ran forever so that's why I let him lay overnight I knew it was gonna be cold and I didn't want to bump him but we found him and yeah I you could see where it went through both lungs just the tops kind of forward other thing is, I could not find the broadhead. I don't know where it's at. It looks like it just, the whole insert and everything came right out of the end. Went, lodged in his leg, and then when he spun around, he knocked it out. Or, most likely, when he ran past his tree and snapped it off, that dislodged it, and it fell out somewhere in here. But I can't find it anywhere. Um, I even tried with a metal detector. All I found was this little guy right here. This old uh, Winchester still got some paper around the edges, you could see. Some guy probably shot at a grouse with it or something at some point, but that's all I found. And I walked from here to where the deer was laying probably four times all around the area in case it bounced out, flew out, kicked out, whatever. But I haven't seen it. I should be able to see two inch blade, you know, or, you know, 
pretty long blades, silver, plus the insert, the whole nine yards, and I don't know where it's at. Really. Either way, it just sucks that I didn't get it on film. Self-filming's really hard. It's a lot harder whenever you're in a tree stand. It's even harder whenever you don't have a lot of time and you have your bow drawn back. You can't see, I can only see 30 some yards around here and when it's quiet, it's wet, there's not a lot of leaves, it's been raining for 45 days. The doe walked, actually walked under my stand beside my tree and I never even heard her, I just saw her. And then, you know, by the time that I saw the, the buck, it was standing right in front of me, I got the release on it, I drew back and then I realized and I knew that the camera was in the way and I just shove it out of the way with the bow. But it was either that or I wasn't going to get a shot at the deer at all. I may have, but I'm not sure. It wasn't worth chancing it. But anybody who does self-filming knows exactly how challenging it is. If you have never done it before, it's easy for you to say, you know, you could have done this or could have done that or you should have done this, but you don't know, what you're, you have no idea until you go out and try it. And it's a lot of fun and it's a lot of hard work, but it makes the hunt three times more challenging and then at the same time when you get good footage like I would have had with a nice Luminoc, everything was lit up. It was it was perfect and you get to go back and you get to watch it and show all your friends and everything but that's just all part of it I didn't get it this time hopefully next time will be a little bit better so anybody who does self filming they know exactly what it's like to miss something like this but uh, I guess just uh, I, all I can really say is try to keep it as wide as you can if you can I guess it's just better to be wide than, than not if you have a tacticam put it on your bow, which I have a tax cam, but I didn't have it on my bow, but that would have gave me something better than nothing. It's not as good quality as a DSLR or a, you know, a camcorder, but it would at least give me something to look at. When you're self-filming, it's totally different. It's not like you got your buddy in another tree or whatever, doing nothing but filming. Um, you're doing everything. The good thing is we found the deer. He didn't make it far, 70 yards, 40 yards. He started pouring blood and 30 yards later there he was laying and yeah so it was a uh, all in all it was a good night just didn't get on film no big deal really as much as i sound like make it sound like it is it's really not a big deal i'm going to try to find that broadhead you know before the day's over it's got to be somewhere i have no idea where it's at but it's got to be somewhere we'll find it and take a look at it all right well i hope you guys enjoyed it thanks for watching and we'll see you next time